This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook at audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. The ringleader is Rush Limbaugh. So let's go to his stack of lie on top of lie on this issue. Go to uh, clip number seven. To give the FCC power to prevent broadband providers from selectively blocking web traffic. And that's, that's just a ruse. Is net no, neutrality is not what this is really all about. This is um, this is about the feds wanting to wanting to, to, to uh, control the internet just as they control the public airwaves. Yeah, how do they, they want to be that? able to determine who gets to say what, where, how often? They want to be able to determine what webs are, what then? search services are providing what answers to your queries. It's total government control of the internet. And the regime has just awarded it to itself. It's the only problem here appears to be too much freedom, at least in the minds of the government. Too much freedom on the Internet in the minds of Obama and his FCC people. All you really have to know about net neutrality is that its biggest promoters are George Soros and Google. Oh, that's it, yeah. And MoveOn.org, oh my, move which on. is heavily funded by Mr. Soros and Google. It is... It's also promoted by a, a, a number of other radical left Soros fronts. What, what, we're, what we're doing here That's is neutering the Internet. It's another gleaming aspect of free speech, free market, private industry Obama has decided to take over as a Christmas present to himself and the Democrat National Committee and to Mr. Soros. I'm trying not to curse on the show. It's hard. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to stick with what it, you know. With I'm going to leave the adjective out. He's a. F I, can't, I can't do it. He's a f liar. Okay. <laughs> Every part of that was untrue. And you, but here's going to be the great irony of this. And I'm going to love seeing him <laughs> squeal because it's, my guess is it'll happen one day. Okay. Because corporations aren't actually. Republican or Democrat, conservative or liberal, they're amoral machines. They're profit-making machines, right? So one day he's going to get caught up in that spoke of that machine, okay? And and for whatever reason, I'm guessing Verizon, AT, Comcast, whoever is going to decide, hey, you know what? I'm going to charge Rush Limbaugh a little bit more. Maybe they don't let. Who knows? Maybe one day there's a liberal in charge of one of these companies. Who knows? I don't know. For whatever reason, or they decide they're going to squeeze him for more profits, right? And they're going to go to Russia and they go, oh, yeah, remember when you were against net neutrality? Fucking sucker. Now you owe us more, you fat bitch. Can't do it. Totally failed it, controlling myself from cursing. But they're going to squeeze him. You go, what? Oh, no, but, oh, but you told me I was a good corporate butt boy that you, I'd be on your side. Why? No, don't. Yeah, because once you give them power, man, they can charge your website. They can charge our website. They can charge any damn website they like with either more money or they slow us down and in effect crush us. You just gave them that power. And I can't wait till they use it against you. Audible.com is the leading provider of audiobooks. In fact, they have over 75,000 titles. And you can listen on your iPod or your MP3 player. You can uh, listen to it anywhere at any time. It's incredibly convenient. And they have books in every single genre imaginable. You can get a free audiobook if you go to audiblepodcast.com slash TYT. Totally true.